Hello, hello, hello. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I am again trying to stream on Mixer and trying to uh, have kind of have two things going on at once. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Um, I am trying to have because I have to kind of do dual mics for this so that the uh, stream will have sound and so that the recording will have sound. Now I haven't really uploaded even my first one yet so we're gonna see how this goes. I can tell you that one I was I was disappointed one of my previous streams actually had a, a sound issue and I had to just dump it. I couldn't clean it up so um, hold on just a moment. I gotta switch and put my glasses on. Well, I apologize for all that noise. I know that was probably pretty bad, but I had uh, I had forgot to put my glasses on, and everything would just be too blurry and not too good. Now, I also I had actually two sound problems. I had a sound problem where my game had no sound, which was disappointing because I do have sound on during my game. But also, I was disappointed that. Uh, one of my videos, the uh, the awful thumping sound was back, and it was pretty bad. So, so I'm trying to avoid that type of thing. So I'm trying to manage the microphones and everything as best I can. If this doesn't work out, then I'll I'll quit the trying to stream. But I just thought if we could do both and have both, that would be great. What are we doing here? I am going somewhere. Friendships do. Find Trask. Carlo told you that if Felix wants a place on his crew, crew he must prove himself by killing a traitor. Hmm. All right. Okay, so we have to go see Rosanna on the Groundbreaker. Okay. So that's where we're going. I'm trying to do all my companion quests. In case you're wondering, that's that's kind of one. It's kind of a. Is it a plan or is it just kind of a whimsical thing? Pardon me, my seat is all out of whack. It's kind of both. It's kind of a plan and a whimsical thing. Um, when I'm playing a game, I just try to do as many of the little side quests and little things that don't matter as much. I try to do those first. Oh, pardon me. I'm beating the mic up again. I was just trying to have some coffee, but that's the situation right now I have is with two mics, it's a little hard for me to figure this out. And I apologize. You know, we're just going to have to do the best we can. That's all I know. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the one mic up above the other, but I don't want them hitting and thumping around on each other because I feel like that's just gonna make more noise. So hopefully I won't be too quiet. If I am too quiet, then I I will apologize. But uh, let's see, we're gonna take Fel Felix with us. Do we want to take Ellie? I think we took Ellie last time. So let's take Felix. We took Nayoka. Let's take Parvati. And just go with that. We'll just go with that. Hopefully that'll be good. Um, now, like I said before, if if this streaming and recording and everything doesn't work out, if it's, if it's too much trouble, I'll, I'll quit doing it. But I just thought um, if we could be on Mixer at the same time as we're being you know, as we're recording and, and have the mixer streams uh, be recorded in good quality, I thought that would be worthwhile. Of course, it's kind of random when I'm out here, like I say. There's not really a schedule at this time, because it's uh, impossible for me to give you a schedule of when I'll be able to be out here on mixer. It just depends when things happen right, uh, if I have, uh, have everything to myself and it's pretty quiet. 
then I can do this. It's hard to get out here and stream or even, uh, you know, do a good recording with the mic and all if we have a lot going on. But, you know, that's life. That's okay. So, Rosada? Is it Rosada or is it Rosanna Dana? I think it's Rosada, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm being dumb. Don't worry about it. It's just me. Oh, there we go. Ro. Oh, it's Rosanna. Rosanna Dana. All right. You mind trying to have a moment here? Well, I don't care. Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know where he is, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Oh, come on. Surely you want to tell me. You're telling me you're on a first-name basis with Ms. Tennyson? Yeah, the promenade doesn't feel like I'm walking the surface of Tartarus. So that was you, huh? Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. Oh, Emerald That's Vale. as much as I know. Okay. Please, just make it quick. Do I? Oh, yeah, okay. Let's... That's right. Our marriage contract expired some months ago. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, I wouldn't renew even if I wanted to. Okay, she wouldn't renew it. By the way, I hope the game sound is coming through. Last time it did not. I was really disappointed in that. It could be, it may be the fact that I'm broadcasting at the same time. So if that turns out to be an issue, hmm. Um, let's see. How much do you know about Harlow? Harlow tells me. Okay, let's, let's hear Only about that it. that Rufus is in a bad way. He came to see me a little ways back. Said he had to go into hiding. Never asked why. Uh, he was huh. here to collect his personals, complain about Harlow to me, and say goodbye. In that order. Hmm. No, and he was particular about that. Said I was better off not getting entangled in his mess. Little late for that, says I. Mm hmm. So, what do you know? Precious little. He oh, was come on. He on the groundbreaker some years back before he vanished. A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution. Starting a revolution? Abandoned his work and ran off that very day. He must have been recruiting. Gathering up his band of revolutionaries. Word of advice, kid? Anybody carrying on about a revolution just wants to sell you something. Uh-huh. I don't know Harlow. Never so much as bandied a word with the fellow. You're better off having this discussion with Rufus. All right. Appreciate it. No offense, man. Just been a long day, is all. Okay. I guess we're ready to roll. We gotta go see Rufus in the Emerald Vale. And I think the Emerald Vale is on Terra 2, so I think we're just gonna pop back down to where we've been before. Dun, dun, dun. I wonder if I have the sound too low. I can't hear it that well. Do I have my TV turned down? I do use a big TV. You'd think I would be able to hear it. But I do keep the sound turned low. So, because I'm not very loud myself. Come on, let's go find Rufus. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, I'll have some coffee while I'm waiting. Now, this is basically my lunch hour, okay? So, I've got about an hour. You know, I might go a few minutes over. I might have to stop a few minutes early. Um, if the toaster gets home, I'll Captain, definitely have to stop. If you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, 
Don't show any drink upstairs. No, I don't need to talk to them anymore. Alright, so yep, Terra 2. We're going back to Terra 2. I think, didn't, where's the Emerald Veil? Hmm. Do we want the Roseway landing pad? Mm hmm I don't remember where the Emerald Veil is. Let's go to the Roseway landing pad. We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. Oh, okay. Let's see, again, we'll take Felix with us. So Felix is going. Parvati had a short adventure with us. She's not going to go with us. We'll take the Vicar. Just because the Vicar is funny. He's always yelling and screaming. Especially when we're getting shot and stuff, so... It makes for more entertainment. If you find that entertaining, which I kind of do. Well, another load screen. Ah, here we go. Okay, pardon me, I was having a little extra coffee. Let's take a look and see on the map where we need to be. Let's see, so we're on the Roseway. Okay. Wait, is that where we need to be? No. Surely the Emerald Vale is not right here. Hold on a second. I thought the Emerald Veil was here. Oh, my phone is going crazy. I don't even know if I want to answer it. Oh. This is Roseway Gardens. This is a region map, so I don't have a choice. I see, so I should definitely go to the other landing pad. That's the problem. I need to go to the Edgewater landing pad. My mistake, sorry. So now I've got to send us back through these load screens. Which is too bad. I don't... The game isn't horrible with load screens, but the load screens are a little much at times. Alright, i tell you what. I'm going to have to stop for a minute. I'm going to have to check on that phone. So, uh... So give me just a minute. <clears throat> Alright, sorry about that. So we'll go ahead and get rolling. We gotta go to the other landing pad. There is only one toilet on the ship. Really? Why do we oh there is only one, that's true. Okay, let's go try again. Edgewater You're landing pad. Above Edgewater, Captain. I should have paid more attention to the, the mark on the map, shouldn't I? Well, nobody's fault but my own. I apologize again. Um, let's take these guys with us. They can go. It'll be fun. Alright, so hopefully I've not wrecked everything. Uh, it was just the toaster. It's not even anything urgent, but I needed to check just in case. It's another thing about streaming. When you're streaming, you don't really just want to stop the stream all the time, so... So if you're recording the stream, it's kind of like, well, I don't want to stop the recording either, because that's kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> I get exasperated easily with these things. Um, it's not that bad, really. 
it's a part of life, I'm sure. I will survive. Oh my goodness, I just knocked. <sighs> Sorry. Just knocked my whole headset. A skew, a jar, a something. So, all right, so let's try this again. All right, so, um, let me see if I can find where that guy's at. The veil, I think I'm pretty sure I've been to that veil before. Okay. So, North Gulch, and he's there. So, the closest place I can fast travel to is actually the Botanical Lab. That's where we're going to go. I know it involves another load screen, but just bear with me for a minute. We'll get there. We'll go do something, hopefully, more fun than load screens, right? Woo! Not putting the game down. It's just I... I could have lived with a few... fewer load screens, though. So, alright, I'm still trying to keep the uh, mics situated, and I'm still trying to talk loud enough that it'll all work. And I'm still going to try to have some coffee. Alright, yay. We are here. At the Botanicals. Okay, so this way. Is everybody... Yeah, they're both with me. Okay. Um, I don't know if we'll have other things we'll have to fight again or not. I think we're going to have to go off-road, though. Because it didn't look like there was any other way to get to the North Gulch other than off-road. There might be a tunnel or something up here. I'm not sure. We might just have to go up over the hill. Oh. Oh, he's going to come back up. Where, oh, he stayed down there. All right. Get some primal hides. I think I may have been here before. Anyway, looks like this is possibly the way through. I thought I explored and came around this way. Can I just kill him? Well, they're not bred yet. Let's see what our options are when I get up here. La la da da. Hmm. Do we want to just kill him? Felix is supposed to kill him, though. I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here. But I'm willing to make a guess. All you're right. One of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. Well, maybe. Yeah, of course he did. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Harlow wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. How do I know that I can trust you? Yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen, I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All that palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. Oh. You're a real piece of work, Trask. Not just a turncoat, but a liar, too. Go piss up a rope, kid. I've got nothing to prove to you. That's the whole truth. 
Harlow is just another bored asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. Huh. Yeah, I've got proof. Oh, good. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. Hmm. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. Because he's for sale, anything the board can buy, the board will buy, and that includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard, and he was ruthless. Uh -huh. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. Okay. Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself, gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. Maybe worse? Uh-oh. All right, I've heard enough. Take it you've made up your mind. You gonna tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. Uh, here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. Hmm. Now here's a question. <laughs> Remember me telling you in the times past that I kind of like to play mm, a little, a little crazy, a little psychopathic, a little random. Well, I'm tempted to see what happens if I kill him anyway. Well, it didn't seem to change my... Didn't seem to change my quest. Trask had nothing of value. That's too bad. Neither did his outlaws. They had nothing of value. Hmm. So there was no reason to really kill them. Alright, I'm going to load up and let them live. Wait. Yeah, that was my manual save. Yeah. We'll load back up and let them live. I just wanted to see if there was any reason to kill them. He seemed like a decent guy, actually, which is too bad. <laughs> I had to test it, though. All right. So we didn't kill him. Mulling it over, huh? I don't blame you. You need something else? I'll tell you what I can. Oh, good. What can you tell? Oh. oh, he's already. We're done with all that. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I can't get out now. Oh. Because with All right, I've heard enough. Else. I've heard enough. Never mind. There's no point in killing him. He doesn't even have anything to take. Oh, 
That's so disappointing. I thought if they had something fun and worthwhile, I mean, we could still kill them. But there doesn't appear to be any reason. But they are outlaws. Maybe we should kill them. I already killed them once, though. And I decided not to kill them. Ah, it's so hard to decide. It says they're outlaws, though. Hmm. Well, outlaw does not mean... Does not necessarily mean bad guy sometimes. This is a rare exception. Alright, so I'm going to move along. I'm just going to head back to the ship. There we go. Let's just fast travel. Yep. Oh, we can go straight into the unreliable. That's great. Alright, come on. Go, go, go. What's going on here? Oh, sure. Felix is a riot. The other day he asked if mana queens lay eggs. I told him they lay eggs in people, and there ain't no cure. I could bust into swarms at any moment. The look on his face, it was great. <laughs> you know, one time, Opal and I, uh, shit. Look at me dredging up bygone days. Forget I said anything. I will. Captain, I've been thinking. Uh huh. Something about this Harlow guy isn't on the up and up. Okay. Glad it's not just me. The way Harlow was leaning on his revolutionary bona fides, not to mention his knowing Felix back in the day, something about it feels off. Makes two of us. Something on your mind? Felix keeps asking me to watch some adventure serial with him. It's not my thing, but he's real sweet about it. Uh huh. Okay. So, what was the disturbance? I don't understand. This is Ellie and Nyoka. Could break it up. Oh, you mean I can't hurt either one of them? Oh, that's disappointing. Hmm. Well, is there anything else I need to be aware of that you crazy people are trying to do on the ship here? Felix is sitting around here. Let's see what he says. Clyde Harlow, agent of the Borg. Yeah, that sounds even more insane out loud than it did in my head. Okay. Again, asking you, he was a dead man. Could have been trying to shift the blame. I 
wish I had your conviction, boss. None of this is making a lick of sense to me right now. I think we need to have a word with Clyde. Clyde, is that Harlow? the wrong button I'm <laughs> oh now I need it oh I hurts my I wounded myself let's just go I, I don't want to spend too long talking to everybody um we're going back to Scylla okay um ooh, either one but let's go to Harl wait is it clock hold on let me check something Yeah, it is Clyde Harlow. Okay. Alright, so let's go look for that evidence. Oh, I don't even remember who I had with me last time. We're going to keep Felix, though. Felix we're going to stay with. I had the vicar. Let's take Sam. Oh, wait. Maybe we should take Ellie. Maybe she would be... Sorry, Sam. Hold on. Since she's suspicious, maybe she'll be more helpful. Dissenters in our midst. Ball. Okay, I like this place, but I've got two places to go, and I don't know which one is which. That's Clyde. Ah, that's the evidence. Good. Let's go get the evidence. I don't remember the way in. I know we did this before. Is that the way in? This must be the way in. So now we found the receipts. Where's Felix? We need to have a word with Clyde. Looks like Trask was telling the truth. It's all there. Receipts for services rendered, payments, records, ship manifests. Clyde was a pirate for hire. And the board was paying him off. In typical board fashion, they left a trail of receipts behind. Isn't that just ironic? Well, it's whatever it is. Yeah, you and me both. Clyde owes me, owes us, some answers. Something about this don't add up. And I mean to find out why. All right, let's go talk to him. I'm going to do a save here because I might change my mind how I want to deal with this. <laughs> I could always just come in guns blazing and kill him and his dog. 
Well, let's see what he says. What's the word? So it is. Thus ends Rufus Trask. Once a sensible man, by and by a fool, presently... All right. Lips. Hope his gas bag's paying us by the hour. I hope you never have to discover what it is like, Captain. The relief one feels when a mutiny comes to an end. Trask had some things to say about you. And I've got my own misgivings. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. <laughs> that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. You've got a lot of nerve calling me a liar to my face. Hmm. Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. Oh, who else do we have to kill? Well, I didn't even get to shoot him. Sometimes I think about putting them back on passive. Anyway, we might as well take what we want now. Is this a door at all? Nope. Yep, I'm taking it all now. Skill points available, let me see. Did I level that quick and easy? I guess I did. Um, Alright, so I'm really doing long guns. We know that. We know without a doubt that's what I'm really doing. I'm going to do some defense and some dialogue. Let's see. All of these are pretty useful, but I'm going to stick with hack and lockpick. I'm going to go with tech and leadership, and I think I owe them a couple more points, so I'm going to give it to them. And then I think I'm just going to put an extra point into long guns. I think that'll do me. So... What are we doing here? Speak with Felix on the ship. Okay, so we'll go back to Felix on the ship when we're done here. All right. Nobody back there. Nobody right there, right now. What do we got here? Logs? Oh, this was just stuff. I don't think this was anything that important, was it? Hmm.
well. So I left one group of outlaws to come over here and take out some others. I wonder if I shouldn't just go back and take out the others. I mean, really. Oh, it's a bathroom. I'm always finding the bathroom. Alright, is there anybody else around in here? we need to be taken care of. What was that? What was that? Heads up! Felix, why are you running into trouble? <laughs> Uh, okay. I think Felix is... I think they're not set right. <laughs> Hold on a second. I think their logic is messed up. Far... Oh, it shouldn't be mixed. It should be ranged. Oh, I mess that up all the time. I just, I just can't get it right. Okay. Let's just leave it at ranged all the time. I mean, if they're really pushed into it, I don't mind. But most of the times, I want them to fight ranged. Because all they do when they get up close like that is they get in my way. I can't shoot around them. And I guess I could just play the game on my own and not have any followers with me. That wouldn't be totally bad. All the construction mechanicals don't care. Oh, that's funny. They're like, eh, you go ahead. Alright, um, in that case, let's go back and talk to him on the ship. I guess we're done here. It does make me think I should go back and kill the other outlaws, though. Just saying. Yeah, why not just kill them all and be done with it? Then I don't have to worry about anybody. That's really not a bad idea. Then I can feel good about having cleaned up the whole mess. Sometimes these moral quandaries have one good solution. Kill them all. But if I go back now, I wonder if they'll even be there. I should go check it out. I may have missed a good opportunity. Alright. Oh, I'm not surprised, but I need to go talk to him anyway. Quieter. Yes, I know. The ship did used to be quieter. Are they up above me? Oh, I guess they are. Let's go up this way. It's another way to get up pretty reasonably quickly. You don't think that's a problem? The whole ship's running on a computer's fancy. That'll make you nervous, creature? No, Felix. The concept of a ship's computer does not make me nervous. Are you scared of Ada? I ain't scared of Ada. Good. I'm glad we cleared that up. It's just... She's a computer, Max. What happens when her equations tell her to cut up her oxygen? Or blast us all into space? Felix, Ada is not sentient. She can't act out of a sense of balance. Where did you get these ideas? I was watching true stories of mechanical murderers last night. <laughs> mechanical <laughs> murderers. I'm going to make you read it. Okay, this let's is, just talk to this him. This is definitely not how I imagined it would end. The void's black, water's wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? I don't know. I don't know what to think. No. I guess you really don't. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. 
This is, uh, this is a lot to take in. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. Oh, well. I just hope I never turn out like that. Selling my soul for a fistful of bits. I ought to thank you for that. Keeping me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> You've given me a lot to think about. I'm going to be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. Part of me wishes we'd put Trask in the ground. You know, I think that's just my frustration talking. Thanks for your time, boss. Oh, well, let's go kill him. Woohoo. That was something I was thinking about anyway. I wonder if we can do that. I might have to reload, though. <laughs> Um, let's see. So, to get to Trask, what, what quest do you have me trying to do now? Radio Free Monarch? What if I don't want to do that? What if I want to do a task? Like, Sprat Kings. Sprat Kings, this sounds inviting. Is it Sprat Kings or is it Spratlings? Maybe I should look at that again. Oh, wrong way. Down this way. Mm, Felix gained a self cover perk. Okay. Oh, wrong button again. Hold on. Sprat. No, it's Sprat Kings. Sprat carriers run their secretive routes. Okay. But, what about. Instead of doing the Sprat Kings, what if we go back over to the Emerald Vale? I know, I know. I just want to go see if he's still there. If Trask is there, we can kill him. Oh, hold on. I have to hold it down. We got Ellie and Felix. Okay, let's not take Ellie this time. We'll take Naoka. Let's go. Let's just go see if he's still out there. If Trask is out there, we'll kill him too. <laughs> we'll just clean up the whole mess. I got at least 12 minutes. I think we can do it. Come on, come on. Let's see. So now I need to fast travel. Oh, I did that again. <laughs> well, that's alright. Map. The map. Show me the map. Come on, the map. Wow. Thank you. That one's really slow. So the North Gulch is where we want to go. So let's go to the Botanical Lab again. Well, I'm done with my coffee, so this long load screen is really not good for me. Let's see, up this way. So if we go up this way, and we'll find our path up to the north again, we just have to go around this way. Yep, this stuff is all dead. more than I hit, didn't I? Everyone all right? 
I wasn't expecting these bad guys to be here. Were they here last time when we came through? I didn't see them. It's not impossible that they were here, though, and I just missed them. Where was the third guy? Did he turn to ash? It's possible he did. I may not be able to find him. Eh, it's okay. Let's move on. Oh, this is probably him. Alright, so let's keep moving. Okay, so I think, wasn't it back in here? Oh no, this is just a dead end thing. I have been in here before though. Let me check the map. Did they change the map on me? these guys back? Okay, so I can't go that way. So, wow, did they change the map on me? Hmm, maybe they did. So I don't appear to be able to get back up to the North Gulch anymore. That means I missed my chance, man. Well, I could reload and go back and kill him and then go kill Harlow too. But that might cause trouble with Felix and might mess with him. So, okay, I guess I'm going to let it go. Rats. <laughs> I missed an opportunity to kill everybody. Oh, uh, well. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, this is it. Oh, I went back there. I missed this. Good, okay, so I can go back here. Now let's see if they're still here. Hello, anybody home? <gasps> They're still here. Bah ha ha! Death has come for you. That's all I can say. There, maybe Felix will feel better now. I'm right though, they don't have anything. They don't have anything worth taking. Hardly at all. Alright, Felix, let's see, not Naoka. Yeah, boss. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, well. Okay, I feel satisfied anyway. Even if Felix doesn't feel any better, I feel better.
so I, I feel better for having cleared it out. Now we can go do our other quest. Yes, let's go to the Unreliable's interior. That makes the load worthwhile if you can jump all the way to in the interior of the ship. Though that should be a lot faster load, shouldn't it? Because you're jumping into a small, finite area. Or loading into a small, fi finite area. Come on, come on, come on. We can head off into the other. We can get into more trouble. And my time is running out, though. We'll see. We'll see. Some All right. crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Why? Now, hold on. What happens if we hit the wall? Most likely, the bullet will ricochet, which could be bad or hilarious. There's a tiny chance of a hull puncture, which would suck us into space one chunk at a time. Bad and hilarious. Ugh. Just imagine that. What did I tell you? Harlow's down with a man stick was just an act. No one who yammers that much means half of it. Take a page out of my rule book. Don't trust anyone. Then it's easy. Don't get all mushy on me now. Come on, what did we just learn? People look out for their own interests. It's a fundamental law of nature, same as gravity and conservation of motion. All right. This is why I hate metaphors. Look, I see a lot of people, inside and out. When you get down to it, we're all made of the same stuff. Once you accept that, nothing much surprises you. I'm warning you, that reverse psychology stuff doesn't work on me. <laughs> uh. Sure do. And unlike you, Captain, the rest of us don't get a big fancy room with wall-to-wall -wall windows. But let's forget about that, please. Anyway, you really want to tell me you're helping the scientist because you think he'll save the colony? <sighs> and here I thought I'd seen it all. This galaxy must be bigger than I'd thought. Enough about Harlow, though. Anything else? Hmm. Nope. Hey, Cap. Okay, nothing else to talk about. Just check in in case there's something there. This is a little bit like, you know, this game is a little bit like a combination of Fallout and Dragon's Age and what else can I think of that they've kind of thrown in here. Um, with the vending machines and all, it reminds me a little bit of, oh, the name escapes me. Do you know the game I'm thinking of that has, like, the vending machines, though? I bet you do, and you're probably thinking of the name of it, and you're saying it now. And I can see the pictures. I can see the big dude, the big daddy. Bioshock. Whew, there we go. I was not going to be happy to. I remembered it. Bioshock. So it reminds me a little bit of a combination of these games. Anyway, it's good fun. Again, I will repeat, while I am not really adver- Ooh. Oh, we could go anywhere. Select a destination. Well, we've really already cleaned this out. I've landed at Stellar Bay before. I don't know which one's better. Let's go to Fallbrook. I really don't know which one's better. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. Yes, now y'all, quit shooting up the ship. They don't give me that option. They should have gave me that option. Quit shooting up the ship. So, uh, 
<laughs> I took that by accident. <laughs> they should really stop me from doing that. Shipping tunnels, huh? Alright. Let's see. So, who did we take last time? Oh, actually, we took both of them. And let's take Parvati and the Vicar. It's been a while since they came out together. Oh, my time is up, though. But still, let's get out of here. Let's see if I'm in the right place. I'll at least get us to the right landing pad or something. And then next time we'll be ready to roll. Come on, come on, Slim and Shine. That's, that's a horrible name for a toothpaste. Slim and Shine, Diet Toothpaste. Oh, well, I guess this is not a bad place to be then, because it looks like this is a fairly decent location. Maybe any of the locations would have been good. Why is the map so slow? Give me the region or the local. Okay, this is the local. Oh, there's a bunch of sprats out there. Where am I? Okay, that's where the unreliable is. So we're talking about right out here. Okay. Well, then we're in a good spot. I'm going to save us here, and we'll be ready to roll. When next we return, let's do a little selling. Sell all the junk. Goodbye. I didn't need the junk anyway. Simply the best. Let's see. Do I want to buy some ammo? How am I doing on ammo? Oh, I'm doing pretty good on ammo. I'll wait till I get low. I'll just save my money till then. Alright. So I'm going to save here next time. We shall return, and we shall get in trouble here, and who knows how many people we will get to kill. Alright? Alright, so I'm going to stop the broadcast, and uh, thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you later.